Today I'm going to show you how to get three free chords out of each one that you study. Conditions apply though, it has to be a four note chord for now and all notes must be represented in the fingering. I'm using a C minor 7th chord, it's C, G, B flat, E flat. And the idea is very simple, we'll take on each string each note and find the next possible note for that chord. In this case I have a C here on the 5th string and the next possible note is an E flat. From this G here on the 4th string is a B flat, from this B flat is a C and from E flat is a G. Put them all together and you get this wonderful voicing. And the great thing is that I can keep going with the same process and find these beautiful sounds until eventually I work my way back to the very first fingering just an octave higher. So do this with every chord that you know and it will do wonders for your playing.